Okay, so Crimson Talon Broadheads was nice enough to send us three packs of broadheads of the cleavers, the 125, 150, and 200 grain. And today we're gonna shoot them with uh, my dad's Elite. We're gonna shoot it just like uh, we did with our Wasp broadhead review. Um, 20 yards, we're gonna see how far it pre uh, penetrates and uh, what the accuracy is uh, compared to just your field tips. Uh, he just got this bow, just shot a perfect hole through paper. It would be on with any kind of mechanicals, but we're gonna see um, if it's on with these. And uh, you could obviously tune those and bring it together. We'll be doing a video on that uh, another time so you can shoot field tips and um, fixed blades just how you normally would without moving your sight or anything so um, I'll be shooting with a traditional bow the uh, Mon Bear Montana longbow 50 pounds and uh, my draw it's gonna be around 42 pounds we're just gonna see how it does uh, I'll only be shooting the 150 and the 200 because of the archers paradox I need at least 150 grains uh, you can just google that um, but anyway so we're gonna get started here um, dad's bringing this over right now we're gonna set it up just like we did like I said with our wasp video and uh, let's get started Yeah, it's really cold. Right where your field tips are hitting. Just high. Just high in the center. Yep, right dead center. So we're okay. good. We're good to shoot the uh, the crimsons now. Sharpshooters again are right where we need them to be. We're gonna compare them to the cleavers and then uh, see how, how far in it went. But, you know, for that to hit that good, it yeah. must be tuned fairly good. Oh, yeah, you're shooting a perfect hole through paper, and we don't even need to adjust it farther than that. Now, I think I think you're good to go. Let's see here. Oh, well. Okay. So I got all the way into the second, yeah, second to last one. So I went through one, two, three, four, five, and went into the sixth one. I forget what it was in our wasp one. Uh, but that's a used broadhead, a little sharpshooter, and its penetration is still good, accuracy is still great. We'll see if we like the cleavers better, if they're comparable. Look how they're only they're only sharpened on one side. Really? They're sharpened on this side, and to the point, and when you flip it over on the other side, they're... Wow. Up. So they're only sharpened on one side, and the point sharpened on both. Interesting. Been good. Just like the sharpshooters, they line right up. Right. Hmm. All right. Let's check penetration. I yep. don't know why it went right. But. Less, a little bit less than a sharpshooter. Yeah, you'd be able to see. About an inch. Yeah. You can see it right there. That's uh, about an inch less than the sharpshooter. Um, two blade, a little heavier. So basically comparable to the sharpshooter. That was good. Right underneath. 125 grain head. An extra 25 grains probably put it low. Yeah. Should have left it where it was at. You think the first one was uh, shooter air? Yes. Okay. Yeah, just a little low for the 25 grains. Let's go ahead and shoot the 150 right next to it. You got, I'm going to go get another one. We'll get shoot another arrow. Yeah, all right, this is 150. We did move it the sight a little down, so it should hit a little bit higher, but only by like a quarter of a half an inch for the 150s and 200s. Okay. Quite a bit lower. Yeah, and we just moved it, so that would have been that's, maybe a half good. inch lower than that. Here's a 200. Shoot this one. Yeah, the left and right's good. Um, yeah. The only, th the only up and down you'd have to sight in for them is because of weight. Yeah. I think a what I was wondering about buying the heavier ones, like how much am I really going to have to I'm gonna have adjust to I'm going to have one. to go get another arrow. Well, I, was wrong I can't get one. the tip out of it. Really? Yeah. Here's your uh, puller. I want to use these suckers, man. Yeah, if they're hitting like that, I mean, they're, they're no different than the sharpshooters. All it is is up accuracy. and down. I'm wondering what the wound channels would be like with that uh, one bevel, uh, that one side cut. You know, it's supposed to make it 
I don't I don't understand. They say it makes it spin when it hits, but your air is already spinning. Alright. See how this should hit a couple inches lower. Oh, well it didn't really hit lower. Nice. Yeah. You think it was something you did or I can drop this down a little bit. I mean only we could take shoot three more and just see how they look. Yeah, let's just shoot three more just to make sure. <coughs> you think I ought to drop the pin down? One line? No, I'd keep everything the same just to see if they hit the same. Probably be about right in here now. Yeah, so. Bill tips and sharpshooters are hitting right up there. 125, drop it this way. 150 and 200 are just maybe two, two and a half inches low. And then the penetration, let's see how far we got on both. It's definitely shooter error. Yeah. In case you're wondering. Okay. Well, I see uh, one of them, the 200's already in the six one. I can see that in there. Oh, yeah. Well into the six one. Oh, almost the whole way through. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if it... No, it's not through, but the whole broadhead, the whole broadhead was buried in there. Yep, so a little that much than... That much was in the sixth one. Yeah, so that's more than the sharpshooter. So the best penetration is the 200 grainer. It just hits low. So it does have better penetration, that's cool. That extra weight, I guess. Yeah. Oh, so with hundreds you're hitting here, about an inch high. 125s. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much right on, maybe a little low. Two inches and four plus. So, that's a 20. We'll shoot at 40 and see what happens. You wanna do that? All right, we're now at 40. And uh, any right hits are going to be because um, his draw is a little long, and sometimes he pulls right, but it's nothing, uh, nothing that the broadhead's doing. Nice. It's uh, a little bit right. A little bit right. Could be because you're long in your draw, but it was, it's in yeah, there. Yeah, it was. I could feel it torque that way. Okay. It didn't break. It broke left. All right, so we're just gonna assume that's pretty much dead center, just about th two and a half low. inches low. Yeah, they're, they're quite a bit low from my 100 grains. Yeah. 100s are hitting dead center now from 40. We, we shot a couple before this. Here's the 150. And that went low. Figured to be pronounced, but holy crap. We'll see what 200 does. Yeah. Here's a 200. <laughs> Dropped right down there, didn't they? Yeah, and that uh, that one was was right too. Yeah. That could be. But look again. at the look at the angle. Yeah, it's pretty much a straight, almost a straight, straight line. line. And, and a, 200 is a little higher than what it would be to make it straight, but that's that's about close. Let's go. Let's go make uh, see how far it was. Because because of my draw length, I think that's why I'm hitting a little bit right at yeah. 40. If it was, if it, if I got to shorten it up a quarter of an inch, it'll probably bring that all over. But at 40, I'm hitting right a little bit with all of them. All three of them were like right. Yeah. So we're just so it's not the broadhead, it's the new bone, the old shooter. <laughs> My sharpshooter hit an inch and a half right at the top. A sharpshooter inch and a half high, 100 grain, and then uh, that 125 hit. Uh, one inch low. One inch low. So there's about what two and a uh, two and a half inches difference between the 100 and the 125 at 20. Yeah, and this one averaged two and a half at 20. So we got to add an inch and inch and a half on top of that, though, right? It was yeah. That, yeah. This one's about average three and a half with the 200 grain at 20. At 20. Okay. Then when we go back to 40, 40. This is what it, the hundred sighted in at 40. We're three inches low with the one with the 125. Okay. Now I'm not an exact shooter either, but we're about nine inches low with the 150. And I pushed this a little to the right, but we're 14 inches low with the 200. Jeez. Yeah. Your your pin gaps are gonna be ridiculous with the 200. Yeah, yeah. Penetration wise, 
They went to five, I think. They all went. They all went to five, and none of them come through. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not the best traditional shooter. I just got into it and shot and killed one deer with it so far, but uh, I have to shoot 150 grains, and we're just gonna go ahead and shoot right here. Anywhere close to that middle circle is good right now. Right in it. Okay, let's shoot this 150. All right, how many of the left one? Is there? That was a little right. A little I think right. I, I think not I was bad. Aiming, I think I was aiming a little right on that one. Um, oh. But we back what 15? Yeah, we'll go to 15 and then 20. All right, this is the 150 at 15. This is, um, my bow's tuned to 150s, but apparently it's at 200s because I hit right where I wanted to last at 10 with the 200. But here we go. Oh, I hit a little high. That left was me. So that would have been right in there. All right, here's the 200. That one felt a little better than the last one, so it is a little lower, but not too much. A couple inches at 15. Well, you're staying close to them dots, though. That is not, that's pretty good. That one felt good. And the oh, high, yeah. I was me. I'm just getting tired, because I was shooting quite a few before this. The high was me. That didn't fly right. I don't know. All right, so uh, there's how far your drops are going to be for the 125, 150, and 200s. If you're sighted in for 100, they hit and fly really good. Um, we're going to be hunting with them this year, and we look forward to seeing how the wound channels are. For the traditional bow at 10 yards, they're both the 150 and 200 are good. Uh, I'm tuned to 150, 200. I think is a little much because after um, after 10, the 200s were hitting definitely off left and right. I don't know. Damn, same hole, they're hitting right. We're happy with them, and they're cheaper than the, the wasps. We're gonna buy a few more of them and, and get some blood trails for you guys this next season. So thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe, and uh, have a good one.